I will build you a machine so amazing you cannot fail. Um, okay. I guess so. This is our graphical linkage synthesis. It shows the claw in both the open position and the closed position. We drew perpendicular bisectors to find the ground nodes on the base plate, and we care about the motion generation. For a kinematic analysis, we're using a motion picture to help us describe what's going on. Here's our figure that's going to be describing the links and the angles. Here's our vector loop equation. Here's our theta 4 equation that's solving for theta 4. And finally, here are our results. These angles both have a linear relationship as the input angle changes, the output angle should be changing corresponding to the input angle. Next, we have our few body diagram, which is showing all the forces that's acting within the claw. Here's our variable matrix loaded that corresponds to the sum of the forces in the x and y direction and also the sum of the torques equaling to I alpha. Here are solved forces from the matrices. As previously discussed, we found F3G from the matrices and this force is being applied on the candy bar. So for our stress analysis, we determined that the tail stress and the bearing stress uh, is negligible. We determined that the, the stress that's most important is at the rivet as shown here. We calculate the shear stress to be this value. We assume um, these for our design on the rivet and we calculate that this, uh, the safety factor for our design is 245 which indicates to us that it's well beyond the safety limit of our design. So for our figure of merit, we chose these variables to be the most important. As you can see, our coupler depth is between the finger and the base, our playing area is between the fingers, and the length of the coupler is from the first rocker down to the finger, and the mass is the mass of the coupler. Our figure of merit equation is then our depth and play area divided by our mass and length. As an increase in our depth and area will give us a better grabbing potential, and our increase in mass and length will increase cost and decrease our playing area. We used three materials for our figure of merit equation. As you can see, the plastic had the greatest figure of merit. However, for ease of machining and design, we used aluminum to make our prototype. Thank you, Super Engineer.